Video number 107. If you have any questions or concerns, send me an email. Here we go. Using Kramer's Rule to solve a 3 by 3 system. We're going to use Kramer's Rule to solve for Z. So we have a 3 equation, 3 variable system. Kramer's Rule tells us that Z will equal D sub Z over D where d sub z is the determinant with respect to z. So, the determinant matrix is the matrix that has the coefficients from the variables on the left side. So 3, 2, 1, negative 4, negative 1, 2, 2, 1, negative 1, right there. Now d sub z is the, we're going to do this determinant by replacing the z coefficients with the 15, 13, and 5 right there. Okay? We're going to perform both these determinants. We're going to do a fraction, and voila, we're going to have the answer for z. Here we go. Here's the uh, determinant, the coefficient determinant. Uh, we're going to put 3, 2, 1, and a 4, 1, 2 right on the right side here. Multiply it diagonally. If you do that, you get a 3, uh, a negative 4, and an 8. Add those up, 7. Okay, now we're going to multiply this way. We're going to negative 4 times 2 times 1 is uh, 8. 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. 2 times negative 1 times 1 is negative 2. Add those up, 12. Now we do 7 minus 12 is negative 5. So D equals negative 5. All right. Now we do D sub Z. All right, just like we showed in the beginning, we replace the Z coefficients with the 15, 13, and 5. So here we go. 3 times 1 times 5 is negative 15. 4 times 3 times 1 is negative 52. 15, 2, and 2, 60. Add them up, negative 7. Bam. Then we back the other way. Multiply those, negative 40. Multiply these, 78. Multiply those, negative 15. Add them up, bam, 23. Negative 7 minus 23 is negative 30. Therefore, when you go back and you find out what z is, we're going to take uh, we're going to take the d sub z divided by d, and we get positive 6. So now we know that z is 6. You could obviously do the same thing to find the other variables. You could find out what y is by doing uh, d sub y over d, and you would just replace the y variables with 15, 13, and 5, and you would be able to get the second variable. And then once you get two variables, you could plug in y and z into one of the equations and find out what x is. All right? So that's how you would use Kramer's rule for a 3x3 system. Good luck and good times.